Now in this the final part of the series we're going to be do, doing some sculpting on the body of the guitar. And the first one is this big chamfer across the corner where this piece tucks under your arm and first thing we do is calculate the angle of the chamfer. Now it's from an inch and three quarter thickness down to five eighths. So using that uh, in a bit of trigonometry, you can determine that the angle here is about 17 degrees. So knowing that, we can go ahead and put a, this big chamfer on here. First thing that's necessary to do is to put, find the surface, put a line across, it looks as though it's coming from the centre here, across to about there. And then we want, need to go into design mode. Move tool, select the corner. Now we're going to hinge this part by putting the anchor point on that line and we use that line as a kind of a hinge Now the the angle we want is 17 degrees, so we start to move this. Now we see it's starting from 360 and going backwards, so we need to go 360 minus 17. And that is the chamfer. Of course that's a bit severe, this corner, so we'll put a round on it. Pull, and the round we're going to put on is 10 inches. 10. And there's our round. And that's the part, that's the first part of sculpting. And the next part is probably the trickiest part of the whole operation of making this guitar body. And it involves the sculpting on the back of the guitar. And we need to put the, the drawing back and transfer it to the back of the guitar. And I'm going to put a a dotted line like it shows here and we're going to try and fit a cylindrical cutter to this line to do our cylindrical chamfer. Now it's saying here that this radius is seven and three quarters. Now we need to find the center of this circle. So the way to do that is to First of all, find the surface, then need to put a seven and three quarter radius circle here, which is fifteen and a half diameter. Fifteen point five. And another one here. And there is the center. That, now that we have got our intersection, we can put the line in for our curve. And S for select, we can get rid of these construction lines. And T for trim, we've now got. Our line now. We're also going to need a center line for our cutter cylinder. Top to the angle, make that 90 degrees. And 
on D4 design mode now before we go much further it's always a good idea we're going to end up with several solids so it's always a good idea to name them so that we know where we are right click rename and we'll call that guitar G Now we're going to put a rather large circle on this end of this centre line we've got down this way. Right, so we find our line end and our circle I have de determined by trial and error is 36 inches. Three D mode. Now we need to move this what is now a surface so that the bottom edge just clears the surface of, a, of the guitar there. And we're going to pull it into a cylinder. solid we'll name that cylinder yeah. and also determined by trial and error is the angle of the cylinder which I'm going to make 20 degrees from the vertical so that'll be 340. Now, at the moment, the ax axis, our anchor axis, is along the center line of the cylinder. It's more useful for us if it's along the axis of the world coordinates down here. So left click anywhere then click on the cylinder and now the axis is up and down and left to right so we can move it along to clear the guitar right and we're going to move the cylinder down so that the curve fits the arc we've made here hopefully that's not bad a bit further uh, just grab it there I think yes I think that's a little bit away here and bring it down a tad more I think maybe the angles is a bit too severe but uh, this is all a question of Try and try again. Anyway, for the purposes of the demonstration, that's all right. So now we've got our cutter embedded in the guitar, and we can now cut this cylindrical chunk out of it. And the tool we use is the combined tool. Set the combine tool. It's you now it's asking us to select the target ob object. It's got a solid block in the cursor, so the target object is the guitar. It's now asking select the cutter object. 
which is going to be the cylinder now when I select this another solid will appear which is the solid that's cut out so if you select the cylinder we'll get another solid now that solid there is the part that it's cut out and we can choose the select tool right click and delete the cylinder right click and delete the solid and now we've got a cutout and this is our original line and we can delete that So I think that's a, a reasonable approximation to what's on the drawing and all we have to do now is put the curved chamfers on and we're done so we'll do that next. And now last but not least we'll be putting the chamfers, curved chamfers around the edges so we'll set the pull tool and we'll double click on this corner there and we've selected the whole edge right round now it's, I see it's asking for a 0.6 radius on this but I've tried it and the maximum we can do is 0.4 because of this bend here you can't, uh, apparently it won't cope with anything more than much more than a 0.4 radius because if we try and put a 0.5 on 0 0.5 right we're going to have failed to build rounds it's too tight this bend to put a a 0.5 radius on there but a 0.4 radius works so we'll settle for 0.4 that's on that side now I'm going to select this in bits because I don't want to select that bit that makes it too thin here so we'll select it and hold the control key and select them in portions incidentally we can get rid of this now we'll do that so select and we can get rid of that one oops that's it now we can select these one And we'll try 0.4 again, see what happens, 0.4, that worked, yes. And because of this thin part here, we're going, I'm going to use something a bit smaller. Um, we'll, have, we'll have that bit as well, and maybe that part. Try point two. Yes. And it's also taking it around here for some reason. And put a one on there. Put a large one, say, a one inch. See what happens. Hmm. 
strange part here. No, I don't think I like that. Anyway, you see the idea. Play around with that to your heart's content. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen. Complete guitar body. I do hope you've enjoyed this series of demonstrations, stroke tutorials. I'm going to have a little bit of a rest now from the Designs Park tutorials because I have to do an upgrade on my computer. I'm putting in a in a solid state drive and transferring the operating system to it. Hopefully it should speed things up. Well, thank you very much. Uh, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.